In the USA, kidney cancer presents a notable health challenge. With over 73,000 new cases reported yearly, it stands among the top 10 most diagnosed cancers in both genders. Though the numbers have been steadily rising, advancements in early detection and treatment offer hope. Despite claiming over 14,000 lives annually, proactive measures, including awareness campaigns and improved health care, contribute to better outcomes. Understanding these statistics underscores the importance of vigilance, regular screenings, and support networks in addressing the impact of kidney cancer on individuals and communities. These are eight signs that could indicate kidney cancer. One, pain or pressure in the side or back. Imagine that dull ache or discomfort that just won't go away, even after resting. That could be your kidneys trying to tell you something important. See, the kidneys sit right in the upper part of your abdomen, near your back. Sometimes, if there's a tumor growing there, it can press on other things nearby, like nerves and organs, causing that sensation of pressure or pain. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. Now, this discomfort might come and go, or it could stick around for a while. It's essential to pay attention, especially if it gets worse over time or doesn't improve with rest. Sometimes, you might even feel a lump or mass in that area if the tumor grows big enough, but not always. So, if you're feeling any of these things, it's really important to talk to a doctor. They can help figure out what's going on and make sure you get the care you need. Early detection is key to managing kidney cancer effectively. Two, blood and urine. It can be a little scary, but it's a sign that your body might need some attention. Sometimes, when there's kidney cancer, the cancerous cells can make your kidneys bleed a bit, and that blood ends up mixing with your urine. Now, the thing is, seeing blood in your urine doesn't always mean cancer. It can happen for other reasons too, like infections or kidney stones. But here's the deal. If you notice this happening more than once, or if it keeps coming back, it's really important to get it checked out. Your doctor can run some tests, like checking your urine and doing some scans, to figure out what's going on. The good news is, when we catch things like kidney cancer early, we have a better chance of treating it successfully. So if you ever see blood in your urine, don't panic, but definitely don't ignore it either. Talk to your doctor right away so they can help you figure out what's causing it and what steps to take next. It's all about taking care of yourself and staying on top of your health. Three, unexplained weight loss. You know, sometimes our bodies can surprise us by dropping pounds without us even trying. It's like, where did those pounds go? Now, while weight loss is often seen as a positive thing, when it happens out of the blue, it can be a little concerning. See, in some cases, unexplained weight loss could be a sign that something's not quite right, like maybe kidney cancer. Here's how it works. When there are cancerous cells in your body, they can mess with your metabolism, causing you to lose weight, even if you're eating normally. But here's the thing. While kidney cancer is one possibility, there are other reasons for unexpected weight loss, too like stress or other health issues. If you find yourself dropping pounds without trying, it's really important to chat with your doctor. They can run some tests and figure out what's going on. Remember, catching things early gives you the best chance at getting back to feeling your best. Four, fatigue and weakness. You know that feeling when you've had a good night's sleep but still wake up feeling totally exhausted? It can be frustrating and concerning, especially if it keeps happening. Well, sometimes, feeling persistently tired and weak could be a sign that something's not quite right, like maybe kidney cancer. Here's the scoop. When there are cancerous cells in your body, they can throw off your body's normal functions, leaving you feeling drained and weak, even after resting up. It's like your body's energy levels are just zapped. Now, it's important to remember that feeling tired can come from lots of things, not just cancer, stress, lack of sleep, 
or even not getting the right nutrients can all play a part. 5. Fever and night sweats. You know those times when you suddenly feel hot, your body temperature spikes, and you wake up drenched in sweat at night? It can be really uncomfortable and puzzling, especially if it happens often. Well, sometimes these symptoms might be trying to tell us something important, like maybe there's something going on with our health, such as kidney cancer. Here's the scoop. When there are cancerous cells in our body, they can trigger our immune system, causing a fever. It's like our body's way of fighting off something it sees as a threat. And those night sweats? They could be our body's response to changes caused by cancer or associated complications. But here's the thing. Fever and night sweats can also happen for other reasons, like infections or hormonal imbalances. So if you find yourself dealing with these symptoms, especially if they keep coming back or won't go away, it's essential to chat with your doctor. 6. Anemia. Let's talk about anemia, which is when your body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen effectively. It's like not having enough messengers to deliver oxygen to your cells, making you feel tired and weak. Now, in some cases, anemia could be a sign of something more serious, like kidney cancer. Here's the deal. When there are cancerous cells in your kidneys, they can mess with your body's ability to produce red blood cells properly, leading to anemia. It's like a chain reaction that affects your energy levels and overall well-being. But here's the thing. Anemia can happen for lots of reasons, not just cancer. Nutritional deficiencies or other health issues can also play a part. So, if you're feeling more tired than usual, your skin looks pale, or you're struggling to catch your breath, it's important to chat with your doctor. 7. Swelling in the legs or ankles. You know when you notice your legs or ankles feeling puffy or swollen? It's like your body holding onto extra fluid, causing them to puff up. Sometimes, this swelling could be trying to tell us something important, like maybe there's something going on with our health, such as kidney cancer. Here's the scoop. When there are cancerous cells in your kidneys, they can mess with your body's fluid balance, leading to fluid retention and swelling in your legs or ankles. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. But here's the thing. Swelling in your legs or ankles can also happen for other reasons, like issues with your heart, liver, or circulation. 8. High blood pressure. High blood pressure, or hypertension, can be influenced by kidney cancer, although it's not always directly caused by it. When kidney cancer is present, it can disrupt the normal function of your kidneys, affecting the regulation of fluids and electrolytes, which in turn can lead to high blood pressure. Additionally, kidney cancer may interfere with hormone production that helps control blood pressure. However, it's essential to recognize that high blood pressure can stem from various factors, not solely from kidney cancer. Genetic predispositions, lifestyle choices, and other medical conditions can also contribute to hypertension. If you're experiencing consistently high blood pressure, it's crucial to address it promptly. If you experience any of these signs or symptoms, especially if they persist or worsen over time, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and diagnosis. Early detection and treatment can significantly improve outcomes for kidney cancer. 